Hey Roanoke, welcome back to this month's edition of Noke News, where we take just a few minutes to remind you about some of the good things happening around the city of Roanoke. We're your hosts, Carol Corbin and Casey Lewis, and we're here at the Roanoke River Greenway, the backbone and main artery of the Roanoke Valley Greenway system. This five and a half mile section of the Greenway has seven trailheads from Bridge Street to Bennington Park. Speaking of the Bennington Trailhead, you've got to check out the new mural gracing the Greenway in Southeast. Thank you to the artist John Mural, Roanoke Arts Commission, Parks and Recreation, and all the volunteers who brought this project to life. We're out here enjoying a beautiful morning and volunteering for the Protect the Blue Ways program. Let's jump right into what's been happening around the city of Roanoke with more on how you too can help protect the Blue Ways. Let's show the Roanoke River some love. Roanoke Stormwater, Parks and Recreation, and local river outfitter, Roanoke Mountain Adventures, have launched a Protect the Blue Way Trash for T-Shirts program to reduce the amount of trash in the Roanoke River and promote use and care of the Roanoke River Blue Way. In order to participate, you must complete a Parks and Recreation volunteer waiver form online or at RMA, and then assemble your cleanup supplies, trash bags, grocery size or larger, and gloves. Then, on your next float down the river, stroll on the Greenway, or afternoon fishing trip, collect any trash you find along the Greenway. You'll need to snap a photo showing your trash bag with the river in the background, then snap another properly disposing of the trash along the Greenway, showing the location of the trash can. After that, head to RMA and show your two photos to staff to get your free Protect the Blue Ways t-shirt. Remember, cleanup must be done within city limits. So we're always looking for creative ways to create new partnerships with local stakeholders to, you know, help improve the watershed and the health of the Roanoke River. And so we're really excited to be partnering with, with local stakeholders um, over a, a common goal. Creating a clean water legacy requires a concerted effort between city staff and city residents and businesses. Together, we can transform the Roanoke River and its 13 tributaries into community assets, focal points, and sources of pride for those that live, work, and play in the upper Roanoke River watershed. On July 11th, Amtrak expanded passenger rail service with the second Roanoke round trip service. Trains depart the Roanoke station daily at 6.32 a.m. and 4.30 p.m arriving in Washington, D.C.'s Union Station at 11.34 a.m. and 9.28 p.m. respectively. Return trips from D.C. depart daily at 8.05 a.m. and 5 p.m. with anticipated arrival in Roanoke at 1 p.m. and 10.06 p.m. Roanoke has a long heritage as a railroad hub. Since Amtrak's return to the Star City in 2017, it has consistently been one of the most popular state-supported routes in Virginia. Plans are being made for a Roanoke to Black Spirit passenger service by 2025. The City of Roanoke has a long-standing history with the All-America City Awards as a seven-time winner and the first-ever Hall of Fame City induction. Roanoke was a 2022 All-America City finalist and in great company with 19 other incredible cities. While the big win was elusive, the City of Roanoke did win the Virtual Civic Action Booth, which highlighted the city's 2040 plan, Star City Safe, the Envision and Lift Centers, and work being done by Blue Ridge Literacy. What really matters is, are you helping your community? Is your community thriving? And are you doing things as a culture to make families have a better life for their children? And I think on that, that Roanoke's always a winner, whether we're a finalist or not. Being a finalist is a really big deal, and we were proud to be that. But um, at the end of the day, we just want to help the children. Roanoke Public Libraries also received the 2021-2022 Paysetter Award from the Campaign for Grade Level Reading for their work in enabling struggling and striving readers to make progress instead of losing ground during the summer months, demonstrating early school success. Part of what we did is we gave out 13,000 early literacy kits uh, during the pandemic. Uh, and as well as that, we fed over 200,000 meals in the libraries since uh, 2014 and within the time period of 2020 to 22 about 80,000 meals were fed curbside with these so it was very popular a lot of parents felt like it helped them connect and still keep their kids engaged Three, two, one. 
two, one. In a ribbon cutting celebration event held August 5th, the City of Roanoke celebrated the completion of the Melrose Avenue Streetscape Improvement Project, concluding a seven year undertaking in the Melrose Orange Target Area, or MUDA. This is obviously a, a, a result of a lot of uh, interaction with stakeholders and residents over the, over the last seven years and uh, the excitement that uh, this activity has generated in in the neighborhoods are, uh, it's, it's fantastic to see this turnout. This project was the result of community outreach and feedback from numerous residents, business owners, and other stakeholders in Northwest Roanoke. A local Roanoke company, EC Pace, was the prime contractor on the $1.85 million project with major funding coming from Community Development Block Grants, City of Roanoke Capital Funds, and the Western Virginia Water Authority to make this project happen. Road and sidewalk improvements were made and landscaping was completed. Thank all of you for your contributions to the Melrose Avenue Streetscape Improvement Project. Another feature that showcases the city's response to feedback from the stakeholders are two covered bus shelters included in the streetscape improvements. These shelters were a collaborative partnership between the Roanoke Arts Commission, Valley Metro, HUD Community Resources, and the residents and stakeholders of MODA. They are functional art pieces designed by the local artist, Dan Keel, and fabricated locally. They celebrate and exemplify the diversity and the pride of the surrounding neighborhoods, emphasizing the potential of the people that live and work here. Star City Alerts is the official emergency notification system used by the City of Roanoke to communicate with community residents during emergencies. Additional non-emergency service-related alerts may also be sent occasionally. Sign up now to receive alerts via text message, email, voice message, or all three. Star City Alerts is our new mass notification system that we're using here in the city. Uh, and actually it's, it's being utilized in several other localities nearby and around us. So it's really helpful that we can get early information out and early warnings out in the event of a disaster or emergency situation. You can add your address to receive geo-targeted alerts specific to your home location. You can also opt in for the types of alerts you want to receive, including weather, traffic, emergency, and more. We recognize that early warning is key to saving lives, and, and the quicker we can get information to you as a public, the better off we're going to be, uh, the safer you're going to be, and the safer our responders are going to be when, we, when we're able to get you the information that you need to protect yourself. Head on over to our website and sign up for Star City Alerts today. Finally, we've got a quick announcement. The community engagement team is going on tour. That's right, Roanoke, we're coming to you. Let us know in the comments where we should visit in your neighborhood. And we're running out of time. We packed so much into this episode, so we'll see you next time on Noke News. <laughs>